Okay, hi kids and families um, and kids. Uh, my name is Miss Melissa Jacobs and I am here to walk you through Google Classroom. Um, almost every child in the whole school has an email now at this point and some teachers are actively using Google Classroom. But for those of you that aren't, I'd like you, all the kids to be able to access the Fine Arts Google Classroom. Uh, I'm going to be this year since parents are not allowed into the buildings and we're not doing big performances, I'm going to be creating some videos. Uh, the retirement video for Mr. McDougall will be released on YouTube, so it'll be open for the, for the public, but the last month and a half, almost two months, I've been just, you know, setting up my, the odd time my Canon camera when I was there, but mostly just my cell phone, just flipping it up. You know, if I, I you know, let's say, usually they had only done it for a, a class or two, because we're not sharing instruments, so it's not like, amazing polished performances but just so that you can get an idea of what they're doing like whether they're playing guitar or playing with boom whackers or whatever and so I have a video um, that I'll be posting um, to Google Classroom and I'd like everyone to be able to to see their kids and what they've been up to in the fine arts room and I will be doing it a couple times in the year the next one should be in December so let me show you here's my screen and you go to Google and if you have your child has signed you can see I'm in my a different email it will say sign in here if you have never um, if your child has never signed into Google Classroom or you haven't it'll say sign in here but if maybe you have you'll want to um, you, if you see their name, then that means they've already logged in by email. And if they haven't, then what you want to do is you want to click on add another account. You would type in their email. You can see my son's is KaiJ6099. So they each have kind of like um, something uh, uh, self-created by the school district. You can email myself or your, your classroom teacher for your child's email. Um, if it's the first time that they've logged in, it would be their email with change me one and then what we'd like is for you to change their email to uh, password to abcd1234 and that way um, it is a password that the teacher can help them to log in with at school as well um, so you see here um, my son's been in it before so I'm gonna click on his name um, but anyways right here is how you add another account that's what you would do with your child so Kai is now in um, and then do you see how there's a waffle you can see I'm bringing my my uh, mouse up to the top of the computer screen there's a waffle here you click on the waffle and if it's the first time that you've logged in you want to go to Gmail and what I did was I added him I sent him this email to add him into my primary classroom because he was already in my intermediate classroom my son actually is a kids elementary student and so um, you can see right here grades K3 class invitation um, now if um, your child was at Kidston last year um, other than maybe some of the younger kids but around grade 2 3 age they may have been invited in the spring because I have a whole bunch of uninvited or unopened emails from kids and um, and so um, what you would do is you would click on here and just type in Jacobs and the email should come up. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, those were all the deleted emails from my son, I guess. Um, but anyways, hopefully they don't have too many if they haven't logged on before. But if they, if they were just invited right now, it should be pretty easy. And then you can see you would just click on join. And um, I'll actually have to unjoin them from this after you'll have to make sure that you're logged into your child's email as well when you join or you will be denied you're invited and then just click join okay um, so that's how you log on to it with your email I'm just waiting now for um, so now um, I'll show you here once you have accepted all of your Google Classrooms, you can go to Classroom. So from the waffle, I clicked on the green classroom. And you can see he's been invited to Miss O'Brien's classroom. Um, he is a part of my grades four to seven class and then my K to three now, but I will be deleting him because he's in grade six. So for those of you um, who are interested, um, then you can go to classwork. And so, so far with the primary class, I've added the five little pumpkins rhythm activity 
um, the video game theme week, body percussion, rhythm sticks, and so on. Uh, last year's Mulan videos are on there, their BC dance curriculum. And you, if you're in grade four to seven, and you're interested in practicing the like Monster Mash guitar chords, there's some um, like fall songs and guitar, ukulele. There's last year's Aladdin performance. Um, I'm not sure if that's the Air Bands video or not, but I can add it. And so it's a good way for kids to stay connected, parents to see what's going on. And um, pretty soon I'm posting videos of, perform of how the kids have done in the classroom. Okay, and feel free to email me at mjacobs at sd22.bc.ca at any time um, if you have any questions.